Right, time now for our uh, focus uh, package. As uh, Italian football enjoys a renaissance thanks to their results, this championship is still facing recurring problems with racism. Although the phenomenon is uh, more prevalent in Eastern European countries, Italy is today the most affected country amongst the big European championships. Well, how does uh, racism manifest itself in Italian football? Our correspondent in Italy, Natalia Mendoza, provides us with some of the answers. Hi, I'm Sula Ali Muntari. Um, I went off the field because I felt it, because um, I felt it wasn't right for me to be on the field. Um, whilst um, I'm, I'm, I've been um, uh, racial abused, so I went off because I wanted to, because I have the right. This is one of the recent victims of racism in Italian football. Sali Muntari, a midfielder for Pescara, speaking after having been sanctioned for leaving the pitch during a match where he was the object of racist insults and specifically of fans imitating monkey noises. This incident has relaunched the debate on racism in Italian football. Today, Muntari prefers to remain silent to avoid adding fuel to the fire. But the episode remains on everyone's mind and his teammates are sympathetic. I understood his reaction, and I know what it's like because I've already experienced it. It's not easy. It makes you want to stop playing immediately. The referee could have maybe stopped the game or made an announcement that the game doesn't continue until the, the abuse is stopped, and it would have been a good opportunity to show that uh, football is bigger than racism and football is for everyone. But uh, the game unfortunately went ahead and our player was punished for protesting. <laughs> Following an appeal, the Italian Football Federation has rescinded Montari's ban. But neither the opposing team nor their supporters have been penalised. And worse still, this type of behaviour is common in the Italian Championship. Throwing bananas, <coughs> monkey chants, racist banners saying things like Negro team. A phenomenon that doesn't even surprise the fans anymore. Like here at the Lazio Stadium, one of the most important teams in the country. That's how it works here. Sometimes we hear things, but really it's not racism. Come on, it's just teasing with the players. They're just football jokes, it's nothing more. During this season's Serie A league, a dozen or so racist incidents have been recorded by the judges, none of which have resulted in disciplinary action. Mauro Valeri is a sociologist. He has been following the evolution of this phenomenon for over 20 years. Today, he condemns the permissiveness and lack of rigour of the Federation. In Italy, football institutions have many norms and regulations in place, but no one ever gets in trouble. There are so many prerequisites before getting someone prosecuted that in practice nobody ever gets punished. There is no will to punish, but rather to trivialise this phenomenon. A phenomenon that does not only affect the teams from the big leagues. These youngsters are players for a semi-amateur team in the suburbs of Naples. Here, more than half of the players come from Africa. Today, they are playing a match in the provincial championship. Moussa comes from Senegal. He's been playing for the club for a year and a half as a midfielder. For him, racial abuse is an unpleasant daily ritual. It happens often, on the pitch or off the pitch. We hear what people are saying. Often they say things like, you black piece of crap. And these insults, they're hurtful. In order to stamp out this violence, the Italian Sports Union has launched a national program, financed in part by the EU. The objective is to raise awareness. We're setting up these banners everywhere, but we are aware that sometimes we're welcomed with, let's say, suspicion by certain supporters. Marco Proto coordinates the provincial branch of this project. His objective is to record the complaints of players that are victims of racial abuse. Today, he is taking a statement from two players. Raccontami un attimo l'episodio che è successo l'ultima giornata di campionato e esattamente anche riportami le frasi razziste che sono state dette. Mi dici nero di merda. Giocatori avversari o dai tifosi della squadra? No, no, le tifosi e come l'avversario.
Each complaint is transferred to the National Anti-Discrimination Bureau and ultimately to the Interior Ministry. This is the first inventory of racial phenomena in Italian amateur football. Nothing like this has been done before in the peninsula. Coffey hopes that it will help to stop the apathy of numerous referees. If you complain, they give you a yellow card. That's how it is. Every time you complain about a foul or an insult, the referee gives you a yellow card. He doesn't care. For the time being, a hundred or so complaints have been recorded as part of this project. A great step forward. But the fight to eliminate racism from Italian football pitches is far from over.